bank. But first, an ATM blown up at a bank in Oldsmar. Take a look at the aftermath from Action Air 1. The search to find out how this happened or who may have caused this explosion lasted all day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. That explosion shut down Pinckney Street from Tampa Road to Marlboro Street for more than 13 hours. It just reopened within the last hour. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton was the first reporter at the scene. He's live now with how this is impacting everyone nearby, J.J. Yeah, now I'm standing over here because I want to show you how far one of those pieces from that ATM uh, flew and landed over there by that sidewalk, which is why this parking lot was shut down. If you can turn around, you can see that the bank is all the way over there. This is also in the parking plaza where the uh, Oldsmar farm, uh, florist is, and I talked to the owner of that florist. He says he showed up, the parking lot was blocked off, there was a deputy parked in front of the store, so it had an impact on his business. There were parts spread everywhere, yeah. Uh, parts of this ATM at the BB&T bank next door. Like they said, possibly an ATM explosion. Pinellas County investigators and the ATF say it happened after 3 this morning. And they arrived quickly to shut down Pickney Street at Tampa Road. The bank was closed at the time and no one was injured. Business owners like Hayden Page couldn't even get into his plaza to start work this morning. Hayden says the shop has been here since 83 and they've never seen action like this out here. I would say it's the largest type of an investigation ever. Yes, we've seen some minor accidents and different things on the road. However, this is definitely turning into a much larger type of a situation. Investigators have been out here since about four this morning and they say their investigation is far from over. And this is not helping Hayden and other business owners out here. It's definitely disruptive to everybody obviously trying to do business here today. Investigators are going over surveillance video from the bank. My first reaction is somebody is Definitely a very brave person because I would think all the cameras are going to be able to identify him. And with all the technology today, And back out here live, we're showing you a surveillance camera on this artistic door on this business here. Deputies did get the box from this business. The owner, I talked to her, and she says they saw they could see pieces flying around out here and also some smoke. I want to show you the ATM, though, back there. They cleaned this up. Investigators are still out here, and they're out here also with someone who works at the bank. I believe they're in there looking at surveillance video and maybe if there's any damage in the bank. Reporting live in Oldsmar, J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.